In the boundless vastness of space, where silence reigns and stars are born only to die in solitude, the James Webb Space Telescope has just captured something so profoundly strange, so breathtakingly unnatural, that it has left the global scientific community teetering between awe and fear. This isn't just about a new galaxy or a beautiful nebula. This is about a revelation, an image so precise, so elegantly orchestrated, that it threatens to unseat the very foundations of how we define cosmic order. For decades, we've sent instruments into the dark, begging the universe to reveal its secrets. But this time, the universe didn't whisper. It didn't tease. It roared back with an image, an unmistakable structured imprint in the fabric of the stars. And now, astronomers aren't asking what it is. They're asking who put it there. It all began during an innocuous deep field observation campaign. The web was pointed toward an unremarkable patch of sky, an empty region cataloged as void by every predecessor from Hubble to Spitzer. The objective was simple, scan the area for low energy anomalies that might hint at primordial galaxies or gas clouds hidden behind cosmic dust. But when the raw data streamed in, something didn't add up. There was a brightness, a shimmer, not chaotic like a starburst or diffuse like a galaxy, but exact, like a line drawn with intention. The spectral data began to show signatures that defied typical classification. There were no absorption lines where they should be, no radiation leaks, just a hauntingly pure emission in the infrared, constant and unwavering. It was as though something, or someone, wanted to be seen only by a machine capable of seeing through time. As Webb's data underwent refinement, the image sharpened into something no one could have expected. Where once there was noise, now there was structure, geometric precision in a place where entropy should dominate. Triangular alignments, equidistant arcs, the formations bore mathematical signatures, ratios matching the golden spiral, intersections lining up with Fibonacci sequences. The object, or phenomenon, seemed less like a stellar body and more like a blueprint. Researchers initially thought it was an error, an artifact, perhaps a software glitch or interference from Webb's shielding arrays. But analysis after analysis returned the same result. There were no flaws. This was not human error. This was design. Scientists began to whisper what none dared say out loud. Had Webb photographed something constructed? Had it, inadvertently, taken the first portrait of cosmic architecture? As images were quietly circulated among top-level research facilities, the reaction was unlike anything seen before. NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab held emergency briefings. The European Space Agency requested full lockdown of their astronomical pipeline logs. Even private observatories reported suspicious visits from unnamed officials, asking for copies of the original web datasets. Public statements were avoided. Nothing was uploaded to the official database. But leaks happened. Whispers turned to shouts in dark corners of the internet. Independent scientists began comparing the patterns to ancient Earth structures, pyramids, ziggurats, sacred geometries. Was this pareidolia on a cosmic scale? Or had humanity just glimpsed something it wasn't meant to see? The fear wasn't just about the structure. It was about what would happen if we confirmed it was real. As the phenomenon continued to be dissected, an even more astonishing theory emerged. The data suggested the object wasn't stationary. It emitted pulses, barely detectable but consistent, like a ticking clock, a beacon. And more than that, those pulses followed a sequence of prime numbers. Mathematicians quickly modeled the signal. It wasn't noise. It was information, an organized pattern that implied syntax. If this was natural, it would be the first known case of spontaneous mathematical broadcasting in the universe. But if it wasn't, then it could only mean one thing. The structure wasn't just there to be seen. It was speaking. Whether to us, or to something else, remained the terrifying question. And as decoding teams raced to translate the message, one word echoed through every conversation. Invitation. Despite the agency's best efforts to keep the phenomenon under wraps, it was only a matter of time before the cracks in secrecy widened. A leaked image posted anonymously on a deep forum began circulating with a caption that simply read, It's not a star, it's a signal. At first, 
Many dismissed it as science fiction or digital art, but those familiar with the web's imaging filters recognized the spectral overlays and color composites. Independent experts began verifying the data, and what followed was a digital wildfire. YouTubers, astronomers, podcasters, everyone was talking about Webb's message from the void. The media frenzy forced NASA into an uncomfortable silence. Their refusal to comment only fueled the public's growing suspicion that something unprecedented had been uncovered. And then came the tipping point, when a respected astronomer broke ranks in a late-night interview, confirming that yes, the structure was real, and no, it was not natural. With the image now public and researchers no longer bound by silence, discussions turned to theoretical implications. One term kept resurfacing, the Einstein gap, a reference to the chasm between classical physics and the inexplicable behaviors of quantum mechanics. The structure captured by Webb didn't obey expected cosmic principles. Its gravitational influence was anomalous. It appeared in a region where mass should be near zero, yet sensors detected distortions almost as if space itself was being manipulated. Some physicists began arguing that the object was embedded in a higher dimensional geometry, that what we saw was merely the 2D projection of something existing beyond our perception. Others speculated it was not an object at all, but a portal, a kind of gravitational lensing so precise that it formed a corridor of space-time. Suddenly, the James Webb wasn't just an observatory, it was a key. And the door it unlocked might not just lead to knowledge, but to an entirely new reality. The conversation then veered into territory few dared explore. Historical parallels. Across ancient civilizations, from Sumer to the Mayans, from Stonehenge to Gobekli Tepe, similar patterns of geometry and celestial alignment emerged. Symbols found in remote cave paintings mirrored the arrangements seen in Webb's image. Conspiracy? Coincidence or continuity? Could it be that our ancestors glimpsed the same structure thousands of years ago? Or worse, were they contacted by the same intelligence that Webb had now captured through cold, digital eyes? Linguists and semioticians began dissecting the signal's prime number sequence, comparing it to ancient languages. Some claimed to find syntax, others embedded instructions. And while the mainstream scientific world laughed off these ideas as fringe theory, a growing number of academics began publishing papers under pseudonyms, unwilling to stake their careers but compelled by something deeper, an intuitive, almost primal recognition of the truth. Eventually, humanity was left to reckon not only with the image itself, but with the weight of its implications. The discovery didn't just break science, it broke something inside us. For centuries, we've searched the skies for signs of intelligence, expecting them to be either far away or long gone. But what if they were here, not in space, but in time, waiting for our technology to catch up, for our minds to be ready? And now that we had finally looked deep enough, finally built a telescope that could see the invisible, what had we awoken? For some, this discovery reaffirmed faith, proof of divine intelligence, order in chaos. For others, it unraveled their beliefs. Governments began holding classified meetings. Defense contractors studied the geometry for engineering potential. Religious leaders issued vague statements of hope and fear. But no one had answers. Only the web, still silently drifting at L2, pointing toward the darkness that had just blinked back. Just when the global conversation began to cool and the frenzy around the web's discovery started to settle into uneasy silence, a new anomaly emerged, one that was never meant to exist. Tucked within the last data packets transmitted after the infamous image, an unexpected fluctuation appeared, a rhythmic pulse, faint but precise, almost like a heartbeat. It repeated in intervals too regular to be cosmic noise and too synchronized to be a machine glitch. At first, analysts believed it might be a residual frequency from Webb's internal systems. But after triple verification by both NASA and ESO teams, the pulse was isolated. It originated from deep space, specifically from the exact coordinates of the structure. This wasn't a residual echo of radiation, nor a collision of particles. It was a patterned emission. Some described it as a digital signature, others as an artificial beacon encoded in waveform. 
What shook the scientific community to its core was the realization that this pulse aligned with timestamps from early human transmissions. It was responding. The structure, dormant and frozen in the abyss, had just sent something back. Not a message, not a voice, but a rhythm. And perhaps, in the language of the cosmos, a rhythm is all it takes to say, I see you too. What began as a scientific milestone ended in a cosmic whisper that shattered everything we thought we knew. The James Webb Telescope, built to peer back into time, may have done more than just observe. It may have been seen in return. Its final image wasn't just a snapshot of distant starlight. It was a mirror, and something looked back. The pulse hidden within the data wasn't random. It was deliberate, structured, patient. As if the universe itself had been waiting, watching, and now, responding. We thought we were alone, voyeurs of the cosmos, safe behind our lenses and instruments. But the web has revealed something far greater than galaxies and nebulae. It uncovered the presence of intention, and in doing so, it raised a question we're still not ready to answer. Were we the ones discovering, or have we just been discovered? Now, as the silence stretches beyond that final signal, one truth echoes across observatories, labs, and sleepless minds across the world. This wasn't the end of an observation. It was the beginning of a conversation. And the most haunting part? We have no idea who or what spoke first. Because in space, when something speaks back, it never speaks by accident. If this discovery truly confirms what we all feared, what else is still hidden out there? Hit the like button if this left you speechless. Subscribe for more unbelievable space revelations. And tell us in the comments, do you believe they're watching us now?